Hello and welcome to Business 360. I'm Archana Solanki and here are the headlines we're tracking this hour. Sensex and Nifty end with marginal gains. Nifty Bank ends flat after some wild swings. Mid-caps underperform. The Supreme Court takes away banks' power to declare accounts as fraudulent unilaterally. The Apex Court rules that banks will have to give a hearing to the borrowers and provide reasons before declaring an account as a fraud. Sun Pharma tells exchanges that a cybersecurity attack by a ransomware group resulted in the breach of certain file systems and theft of certain company and personal data. The company says it's expected to lose some revenue due to the attack, as that it will incur the expenses for remediation. Indian skincare brand Mama Earth's co-founder Varun Alag tells CNBC TV18 that reports of the company withdrawing its IPO are baseless, says that the DRHP should be approved by next month. Iconic houseware brand Seller World is looking at raising 2,000 crores via an IPO. Opposition lawmakers for 17 from 17 political parties protest against the disqualification of Rahul Gandhi as member of parliament. TMC MPs join the protest, calls it special mark of solidarity. Rajya Sabha passes the finance bill amidst uproar from the opposition benches over the Adani issue. Israel's government plunges into chaos. Mass protests over judicial reforms intensify after Prime Minister Netanyahu sacked his defense minister for opposing the overhaul. Flights grounded at Tel Aviv airport and the country's largest trade union launches a general strike. Former RBI governor YV Reddy is happy with the way RBI has cleaned up banks, but he is not happy that over 90% of the bad loans are getting written off. On the current banking crisis, Reddy says the ideal banking system would be one where 30% comprises public sector banks. 